Hi there, I'm looking at a building material that I believe is more sustainable and reusable than any others. It's the humble clay brick. In our rush for new sustainable materials, I think the brick has been largely overlooked. To help understand why I say this, I need to give a quick history of the clay brick, as an understanding of the past is our only way to imagine a future. The clay brick that has been fired to form a ceramic block and used in the masonry construction has been dated back to 7,500 years BC in the Tigris Valley. There is good evidence that the Chinese were making them 3,800 years ago. In its basic form, all it is is a mixture of clay and sand with small amounts of lime and oxide mixed together and fired in a kiln with the higher the temperature, the harder the brick. The Romans used this technology extensively and most Roman artefacts still in good condition today are ceramic, with the majority being bricks or mosaic floor tiles known as tessera. This Roman brick dates from about 100 AD and the imprint on it tells us that it was produced by the first Italian legion stationed near Mosia on the Danube River in the Balkans. My first point is that this ancient artefact is almost 2,000 years old and still in mint condition. Clay bricks can last for over 2,000 years regardless of the conditions in which they are kept. The Basilica at Trier, Germany, was built in 306 AD, and as can be seen here, has survived almost intact. The bri brickwork is as good as the day it was built. A more interesting building is the castle at Colchester, which was built in 1069 AD, on the foundations of a Roman temple. What is interesting about this building is that a large amount of the Roman bricks were recycled in its construction. So we have bricks that are a thousand years old being recycled and used in a building that is now a thousand years old. My second point is that the clay brick is the most recyclable material that there is. They can and have been used over and over again. This is a brick made by convicts in Tasmania in about 1830. Like the Roman brick, it has been stamped with an arrow to denote that it's government property. This brick was simply made from a pug of clay that was pushed into a single mould. Sand was applied to the mould and the table so that the clay would not stick when it was turned out to dry. When dry, the bricks were stacked in a kiln and timber was loaded around and over the top and the whole lot was fired. This resulted in a range of firing temperatures in different parts of the kiln and thus a variety of grades of bricks. Up to 40% of the bricks were of a lower standard. The great step forward came in the 1880s when brick making was mechanised. The clay was worked at a much lower moisture content and the pug was extruded out of a machine and then cut with wire. The bricks were immediately stacked on trolleys which moved slowly through the kiln where temperatures could be finely controlled. This resulted in a quicker process, less handling and a uniform brick quality. Machine made bricks are fired at a much higher and more consistent temperature than handmade bricks and thus they are they're a more durable brick. Uh, which brings me to my third point which is I believe that the clay fired brick is the most sustainable of all building materials. And my reasons for saying this is that the clay that is mined there's very little byproduct from that. Most of it goes into the brick. Uh, secondly there is very little embedded energy within the brick. That is it takes a relatively low amount of energy to make a clay brick. They are made locally usually uh, and they don't travel very far between their, their point of manufacture and where they're being used. Um, and that energy that is embedded can be depreciated over 2,000 years. So there you have it. That's why I think the red, the red clay fired brick is probably the most sustainable building material we have. Um, that's all for this video. I have another video being made at the moment about, um, it's a book review of a new encyclopedia of Australian architecture. Uh, I also have another three sort of uh, I'm thinking about doing on bridges in Tasmania, old sandstone, two sandstone and one red brick uh, bridge. Um, but I'll tell you about, more about those later. So subscribe, you'll get those straight away uh, as soon as I, I release them. Um, click the thumbs up, tell a friend and I'll catch you next time.